as DJ Dells. Absolutely wonderful. I got a lot of people requesting this video. I was shocked. So I made sure to film it today. I have these in hand. They did release today. And the wild thing is majority men. Guys saying, man, I need a review. I'm thinking about buying them. This Manchetta Tan Jordan 12 released up to a size. I'm pretty sure 10 or 10 and a half. I will put that information in the description box below. But definitely let me know what you want and I'll definitely get that to you. Please thumbs up the video. And don't forget to subscribe, of course, if you're new. There's a little bell next to the subscribe button. When you hit that little bell, it lets YouTube know it is okay for them to let you know as soon as I upload a new video. So you don't miss out on future content. So hit that bell, bong, bong, bong. And let's get back to the shoes. I gotta say the upper, the material is very nice. I love the gold hits on them. I'm very surprised they didn't release this in a full size run. I think this is a very nice colorway. Kind of got that wheat vibe to it. I know it's Vincetta Tan. I hope I'm saying it right. If I'm saying it wrong, go in in the comments. Roast me. I love reading the comments, so definitely go in. But um, regardless, I do think the upper is nice, which we will get to right now. Let's get a close-up look. As you can see right there, check it out. And it's really nice materials. The glue is good. I love the gold hits, pops really nice on the upper. So I really don't have any complaints with it. There's a look at the back, I love the leather pull. I think that thing looks great, nice quality. Quick look at the medial side as far as the fit. I personally go true to size on Air Jordan 12s. This is one shoe, trash once it creases. Like, it is painful for me to see Jordan 12s with the fold on the toe that crease by the toe. It's not like Jordan 1s. They could get away with it Jordan 3s. They get a pass a little crease and gives a character These Jordan retro 12s Get them out of here once they start creasing Ugh, Yuck horrible Some may like it some may like the Jordan 12s with the creasing, but I don't think many do if you do let me know please now, there's a lot of confusion with sizing being that this isn't a men's size shoe. It's a GS size. GS and men's sizes are the same. So if you wear a size 9 in men's sizes, you could buy a size 9 in a GS size and it should fit you pretty much the same. It may be a little bit big or small, but I'm pretty sure you will be good. So if you want these, you wear a size 10 in men's. Get a size 10 in grade school. They should fit you. I'm pretty sure it goes up to a size 10 or 10 and a half. And they start out at, I think, a 3 or a 4. So the ladies and the boys can get them and some of the men can. I think that the average size foot is a 9. So, And it definitely sucks for people that wear bigger size shoes. Unfortunately, they didn't release these in men's sizes. Bird's eye view on the toe. Check it out. You've got your rope laces. With your 2-3 down on the tongue and your Jumpman up top. Now one thing you can see right there on the lining. You see it's got that quilted look. I like that. And then you have your gold Jumpman right there. And there's a look at the outsole. It's kind of like an off-white sail. You got your gold Jumpman, your 23 by that herringbone traction with your shank plate. And there you go with a close-up HD look. Do not go anywhere. I have another pair of Jordans I will show you in just a second. But let's discuss this first. How do you feel about it? I want to know how you feel about these shoes. Do you think they're hot? Do you think they're garbage? Trash? That doo-doo? Shit. Let me know what you think these are. Leave that in the comment box. Type away. You don't know what to say. Hit me with some emojis. Hit me with that poop emoji if you think they that do do. Or hit me with them fire emojis if you think these are fire. Leave that in the comment box below. I will link where you can find these in the description box below for your convenience. Once again, if you wear a size 9 in men's, you can wear a size 9 in grade school. Okay? So keep that in mind. That's how it goes from GS to men's. 
before I show you this next shoe, make sure to pick up the Sneaker Attic t-shirts if you haven't yet. Shout out to all the supporters out there that's been picking them up. I've noticed a ton of people have been picking them up the past week. And I thank every single one of you for your support. I love it. And I try to make them real affordable. It ships worldwide. Fits true to size. High quality t-shirts too. You're not getting no trash. Good quality stuff right there, baby. Let's get into these Jordan 11 Easters. So I finally got them in hand. And I'm going to give you a super detailed look very shortly. Possibly tomorrow. Depending on how this video does. If it gets a lot of thumbs ups, I'm definitely going to do it like immediately. Because that's just like... Me seeing there's a big reaction for me to put this video together. As you can see, it's got that iridescent on the pan leather. Pops nice. The one thing that I feel people are either going to love or hate is the outsole. As you can see, the outsole right there, it's got that iridescent look like we've seen on the Jordan 6 and the Jordan 1 All-Stars, the Chameleon Pack. People are either going to love this or hate it. Regardless, I think they're going to sell out. Make sure to leave your comments in the box and let me know how you feel about these. Are you picking them up or not? I'm, I'm not as impressed as in the photos. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I, I, I had a feeling I wasn't going to be really impressed with these once I seen them in person. But let me know your thoughts. I'd love to know. Getting back to these Vincetta tents. Vincetta. I just feel like saying it in like an Italian way. Vincetta. Vincetta. The Vincetta 12s. I feel like maybe I even sound like Dracula right there. I don't know. I'm bugging. But um, let me know your thoughts on them. Thanks for tuning in. If you love what I do, if you're a diehard supporter, join patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. Every Saturday, I do a new podcast. If it's not up Saturday, it will be up on Sunday. An hour-long podcast you will only hear on Patreon over at patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. YouTube has really been doing me dirty lately, so that's why I'm doing it there. I'm still going to be doing videos all the time here, but for the diehards that are going to rock with me wherever I'm at, thank you so much, first of all, and make sure to head over to patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. Be a member, support the channel. When you are a member, you become an executive producer and you actually be part of the show. You actually help me with the content. Let me know what you guys want me to speak about. What you ladies want me to speak about. Check it out. Check it out right now, matter of fact. We got two podcasts up already. Kind of controversial. Both of them. I speak about a lot of stuff that um, has to do with the sneaker community. Yes, I do call some people out. I guess you could say that. So um, if you're into that kind of talk and more, definitely check out episode one and two. And every week we'll have a new podcast plus a giveaway. Every month I will do a new giveaway every single month. And the more members I have, the bigger the giveaways will be. I'm hoping that it gets to the point where I have so many members that I'm going to be giving away gift cards where you can buy a pair of shoes. That is the goal. That I have that many members where I start giving away gift cards to buy shoes every single month so you can get four plus hours of me a month that will not be on youtube you'll be entered into a giveaway and you're also showing love and that support so i definitely would love for you guys and ladies to go head over to patreon.com backslash dj d e l z and show your support and become a member today Thank you so much, everyone. Everyone have a great, great weekend. Be safe out there. Don't drink and drive. So happy he's back. Yeah, DJ Dallas. DJ Dallas. And your Benjamin. <laughs> Prepare the battlefield. For massive, massive. That's right. Delete. 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 DJ Dallas. And your Benjamin. Where's Vanguard One? He's up there watching more. He is always surveying. Oh, sure surveillance? Yeah. For security, right? Security purposes? Thank God. Thank God for him. I prayed for him when yeah. he was hurt. I prayed every night. Well, he was drinking too much last night. I know. Oh, yeah? What were you drinking? Tequila? <laughs> oh, that's DJ Dells. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Senor Benjamin. I'm ready to a battlefield massacre.